We're MTech, builders of QTAC fire and rescue apparatus. Follow along as we document the construction of our Type 6 demo truck build. Today's gonna to be a little bit different than the videos we've done in the past because the truck's done. We're gonna give you a full walk around of the entire vehicle, show you some of the features and functionality, and show you what this thing's about. This project began with the 2020 Ford F550. It's the Super Crew XLT version. As we talked about in the second build episode, the bodies are welded polytuff design. It's lightweight. It's about the equivalent of aluminum, but it's also extremely durable, and it'll never rust or corrode. We've got the Buckstop Super Singles Kit. It's a three inch lift, comes with 20 inch wheels, 41 inch MPT 81 Continentals. It's a very sturdy lift. Moving around the front of this truck, we've got the stock aluminum Buckstop bumper, which we then modified with the light tower. We've had some questions, why would we go with aluminum over steel? And honestly, a lot of that just comes down to, to how much we want to load up that front end. Moving down underneath the bumper, these are the bumper sweeps, which we talked about in previous videos, but we hadn't shown. They're now all installed. Gated valve, that's for the pre-connect. We've got 25 feet of inch and a half on the pre-connect. Tomar lighting, the worn 12,000 12, pound winch, the hinge door here that allows you to get access to the winch. This is the uh, RVS camera system. We've got four point camera system on the truck. This is off the front end. And what this is for is because of the height of the truck when you're going up a grade, uh, it's sometimes difficult to see what's in front of you. This allows you to see the entire view. The Brush Hawk monitor is complete. This, this monitor is adjustable from 15 GPM all the way up to 200 GPM. I think for, for most apartments, that lower 15 to 30 GPM is gonna be ideal. Obviously on a 300 gallon tank with 200 gallons a minute, you're gonna be out of water very quickly. Continuing along the side of the truck, we've got the Tomar Scorpion light bar. Kusmal auto charger here. And these Amdor doors. The front transverse has the dual direction slide out tray. And it goes 100% either direction, full extension. This is powder coated aluminum plus the perforated floor. You're not gonna have any rust or corrosion issues with this tray setup. On the center compartment driver's side, we've got the pack tools mount. And this is a, it's a s slick system for storing more lower profile tools like axes and bolt cutters and things like that. So Pack Tool sells a, a series of different mounts that you can use for those tools. This is an access panel. The only reason it's clear right now is just for when we're showing people what is viewable through this. Uh, once somebody purchases a truck, we'll replace that with either an aluminum or a plastic access panel. Whole point being there, you can unscrew the, the panel and then have access to the pump head on this side and the Foam Pro 1600 on the other side. Got more shelving here and then the chainsaw compartment. Uh, it just makes it really simple to store a chainsaw out of the way, a 28 inch bar on this, uh, this Husqvarna. It's compact and it saves a lot of space inside the truck instead of having to place it in the center compartment crossways. On the back of the truck, we've got the FRC level gauges, 3x7 Tomars, all lighting, CPI steps, full custom rear bumper. That's an, also an aluminum bumper with some storage in it. And some pull-out steps, just to make it easier to get up onto the truck. Quick overview of the pump system and the plumbing system in this truck. It's a Waterax B2X, so a 310 GPM max pump, 180 PSI max. Elkhart brass, all welded stainless steel plumbing. The panel is uh, completely set up with foam controls, engine controls, but it also features a remote start so you can run it from the cab as well. Passenger side is the same setup for the most part as far as compartment sizes go. You can add in as many shelves as you have room for. Pump compartment electrical, full length compartment. We do have rails in the back if you should uh, want to mount a tool board on the back of that. 
And then this front compartment, obviously we have the, the tray that we showed on the other side, can extend out this way. We've got the Kusmal with access to that, as well as the electrical panel and some charging stations here with 110, USB, and 12 volt. On top of this truck, we've got a tremendous amount of storage the way it's set up now. And again, that can be swapped out. If someone doesn't want the storage boxes, we can put hose beds up top as well. The front storage compartment holds the full-size spare tire as well as a crane. And the crane is just designed to help with removal of the spare tire should you get a flat. The crane goes into a mount that we've designed that goes down into the subframe of the truck and then uses a hoist to wrap around the tire and wheel and lower it to the ground. Console set up for a complete remote start. We got a Polytuff console that we welded in in-house and then this is an aluminum top that's hinged just for easy access of all the electronics inside the, the console. It's got all the remote engine controls, throttle, the water axe, pump start, level gauges, door ajar lights, the joystick, lighting controllers and bumper sweep controllers along with the master power. The custom eyebrow up top does feature the Tomar traffic advisor as well as two eyelid LED dual color lights. On both sides of the truck we've got the Tomar Revolution Series 3x7 on the tailgate side and a 7x9 split optic on the cab end. These are 13 degree down optics and they provide a tremendous amount of scene light. So thanks again to everybody for following along. We appreciate all the comments and the feedback that we've received on social media and over the phone and email as well. If you'd like more information on this truck or any of the apparatus that we build, we have QTAC UTV skids, truck skids, fire and rescue apparatus. Our brush trucks start in the $150,000 range, including the chassis, and then they go up from there. This truck has every option on it, so obviously this would be considered a premium build. Check us out at QTACfire.com, and we look forward to talking to you soon.